Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Big Stratus and I am a beginning artist here on YouTube. Today we are doing my first sketch in this new sketchbook here. It is a Canton mixed media sketchbook. If you watched my last video, you saw that in this sketchbook here that I did for 2020, we did this as a first page. It is a sketch of the full tarot card so we're doing something similar today and we are going to be sketching the magician card the magician card is all about action concentration and power and so for this notebook i hope it brings out that influence especially since this is going to be my sort of year two of being an artist and I know now that I have the skills to be an artist I have the skills to make what's possible real um, I have a commitment to myself and that I am being hecka creative so I am planning on using this pose here with one finger or I want to do one finger pointing down and one with a wand but I'm gonna make the wand a paintbrush and we're gonna have the elements in front of them there on a little table let's get into it I have been reading tarot cards or practicing reading tarot cards for about a year now, a little over a year. I started in October of 2019. Uh, I started as a little hat hobby almost. And I needed a little guidance so I thought the cards were sort of cool. I want to talk to you about four things that I learned through my year of learning to read for myself. The first thing that I want to talk about is learning to step back and really reflect on what the card would have mean to you or what the card means when it comes to you i feel as though stepping back and really understanding what's going on and analyzing what's going on in your life helps the reading and helps you understand as a person what that card would mean in the moment it's all about understanding how to improve yourself and being honest with yourself because I know that I have had cards where I did not want to listen to at all but I had to trust in them
The second thing that I have learned through my readings is to use multiple sources. Um, I think this goes with any sort of non-fiction text or trying to figure out if something's true or not. You want to go to different sources to see which one is the correct one or like see what insight one has, not necessarily having to be correct because with tarot card reading it's all about interpretation and using your own insight as well. But I like to use uh, a few books as well as a website called biddytarot.com I'll put the link in the description below I'll put the link mm, I'll put the names of the books below as well The third thing that I have learned from tarot card reading, giving myself a little bit of a high-waisted pants here. The third thing that I learned from tarot card reading is to really use your own insight. I mentioned this a little earlier about the sources, but Using your in, your own insight will allow you to understand the card for what you understand it to be. And a good question to ask yourself is, what does this card mean to me right now? For example, if you had the magician in your hands, for me, what it would mean right now is just that I would have all the skills in order to make a YouTube or all the skills to all the skills or materials to do what I need to do <laughs> um, right now YouTube is sort of a big thing for me
last thing that I want to share about tarot card reading is keeping a journal. I feel like that was pretty important for this past year um, for me to keep a journal. It helped me sort of remember what cards I got or reflected upon like a certain day. Keeping a journal allows you to keep the memories and the reflections of what your past readings were about. I personally like to keep my journal with color-coded pens. So for example, my major arcana cards were purple. My sword cards were gray, my my wand cards were red, my cup cards were blue, and my, my pinnacle cards were green. It was just a nice little way to keep things all in order. And it's really nice to look back at the journal and see, okay, this day I had really powerful energy coming at me. Or this day, I was feeling really emotional.
this is the first sketch in my new sketchbook again i am a beginning artist so we're we're just learning different ways to improve during this year definitely want to go ahead and improve on a lot of things here but for the first sketch i feel like you could see what it is and i could only go up from here thank you so much for watching and listening and catch me in the next video remember the card picks you as much as you pick the card see you later bye